Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you. Honestly, when I heard that Daniel Bryan was coming back to wrestling, uh, I think I made a video giving you my quick early response, and I was really pumped up for it. I mean, Daniel Bryan, um, I'm not going to say that he's one of my favorite um, you know, wrestlers of all time, definitely, um, I, d I didn't find out about him until he was on NXT, I'm not one of the people that watched him in Ring of Honor, or Evolve, or, you know, wrestle over in Japan, or anything like that, but definitely there was a lot of talk about Daniel Bryan before he was ever a WWE superstar, there was a lot of people out there uh, who've been following his career that I would call bigger fans than me. But the uh, the Daniel Bryan movement, uh, which to me started at WrestleMania 28 and worked its way all the way up um, through Team Hell No and everything else into WrestleMania 30, with him, you know, being, uh, I guess you can say, screwed out of the, uh, the WWE Championship, seeing him win it at SummerSlam. A lot of the shows that I went to in that two-year span really revolved around Daniel Bryan. And him winning the championship at WrestleMania 30 was a real special moment to me. Daniel Bryan, to me, will be one of those wrestlers that I will remember for a real, real long time. Um, and, and when I talk about CM Punk leaving WWE, um, you know, CM Punk is the kind of guy that when I think about wrestling 10 years down the road and I want to watch matches from from this era, Punk matches and Daniel Bryan matches will more than likely be the matches that I go back and watch over, you know, John Cena matches because they're just better wrestling matches. And that tends to be what I want to watch. Um, to, to remember the good times. Uh, I'm sure that I'll, I'll go back and I'll watch John Laronitis versus John Cena main event, that whatever pay-per-view that was way back in the day. But um, I don't know. I'm, I'm very pumped for Daniel Bryan to come back. And to me, honestly, he could win the Royal Rumble and he could go on to WrestleMania 31 main eventing against Brock Lesnar. Or Daniel Bryan could lose the Royal Rumble, uh, go on to WrestleMania and wrestle against, I don't know, Kane. And I'll be just as happy. I'm just glad that this guy is returning to wrestling uh, and he's being able to do what he loves and uh, being able to do you know, what provides for uh, him and his family. He's just one of those guys. Um, I've met him twice, once at WrestleMania Access and once at the WrestleMania 31 ticket party. Both times he came off to me as a guy who really wants to give back to the fans because the fans are the reason uh, why he is there. Uh, when I met him at uh, SummerSlam, whatever year that was, I guess 2013, I think is what, what year that was. Um, I mean, the guy honestly would sign anything you put down in front of him. And uh, he just sort of seemed like, I don't know why you want my autograph, but, you know, if that's what you want, I'll give it to you. And when I met him at the WrestleMania 31 ticket party, he came off as the same way. He talked to us uh, as a group and, um, you know, made sure everybody knew that, uh, you know, he was glad that we were there. And uh, that that's why one of the guys, that I want to support him. Um, when he first said he was going to be coming back, I talked about in my response video that basically I didn't think Daniel Bryan would be on television wrestling uh, until the Royal Rumble, making it sort of like the biggest draw there is to it. As you can tell by watching Monday Night Raw as of late, when you watched Raw on Monday, they mentioned um, the Royal Rumble in the opening segment. When Seth Rollins got put into the main event going up against Brock Lesnar and John Cena, and then never again was the Royal Rumble mentioned. We got at TLC, uh, Roman Reigns, um, he made his return and then he had a backstage segment basically where Roman Reigns said, that he was entering into the Royal Rumble. Then you got Daniel Bryan's, um, uh, I guess you can say, promo on Monday Night Raw. Daniel Bryan says, I'm going to be in the Royal Rumble. And then since then, nobody, nobody has wanted to make any proclamation. Not even the lowest of lowest guys in WWE, not even Sin Cara, has been saying he's going to be in the Royal Rumble just so he can go in to WrestleMania 31. When I was growing up, and, you know, this started to become the thing, everybody, everybody started saying they were going to be in the Royal Rumble because they wanted to go on to WrestleMania to be the biggest thing. They wanted to make the Royal Rumble look huge because the best, the, the better the Royal Rumble looked, the better, you know, WrestleMania would be. Because if you're hyped for Rumble, there's no way in the world you're not going to be hyped up for WrestleMania. And that, that that's the big WrestleMania payday for, for all the wrestlers out there. But I understand 
uh, why Daniel Bryan is going to be making his return on SmackDown. My first initial thoughts uh, when they said that Daniel Bryan would be making his return to SmackDown next week was SmackDown? Really? I mean, like, I, I mean, for anybody to come into WWE may have their opening wrestling match, their debut, be on SmackDown, you're not really going a lot of places. I know that um, Bo Dallas, um, he, he made his debut on SmackDown, and that was one of the things that, honestly, we should have noticed where Bo Dallas was going to go. SmackDown is moving um, from Fridays to Thursdays, where it originally started back in the day. Uh, I don't know why. WWE isn't pushing that fact as it is, you know, they're returning home. I know it wasn't on Sci-Fi. Um, it was on, uh, was it on UPN? Is that where it debuted? I think that was the opening se- the opening station that SmackDown used to be on. It, it moved from UPN to MyTV, from MyTV to, um, what's it on now? Sci-Fi? I think, I think there's three moves. I think they've made four somewhere along the way. Maybe UPN was something else before it was UPN. I can't I can't hundred percent remember. But WWE is really stacking the deck for next week. That's what I learned from watching uh NXT. Uh there's gonna be a lot of moving and shaking around on SmackDown. Uh I'm sorry, on, on, you know and all of wrestling next week. Basically um be, because of the SmackDown move uh, NXT is going to be moving, and because of the uh, SmackDown and NXT moving, Impact is going to be moving. Everybody wants to make sure they have their own nights, and it seems like uh, TNA is laying down for anything that debut uh, that WWE is going to be doing. So next week, the new the new way it's going to work is Wednesday nights is going to be NXT. Next week on NXT, uh, they have a really really big show. Uh, uh, you got um, uh, you got Baylor going up against Tyson Kidd. You got Oh, shoot, there was uh, um, Conley against um, Dempsey, uh, and then there was one more big match, which is Neville against Zayn, the rematch from the last uh, um, NXT pay-per-view, and then you're going to go to Thursday, which is going to have the Daniel Bryan debut, and then if you, when you flip over and you um, watch Impact on Friday, that's going to be their, uh, their real debut. I don't know why you would debut a TV show. Uh, on a new network and happen on a night that it's not going to be on, uh, but they really wanted to have their um, uh, you know get on TV a week early, and then they're they're going to try and you know con- convince everybody to flip the channel and it's not on Wednesdays anymore, it's on Fridays. But um, it just is what it is for TNA right now. Uh, I think they just wanted to be unopposed uh, when they had their first show. Honestly, in my opinion, if if I'm uh, TNA, I want to go head to head with that last SmackDown. They're moving SmackDown for a reason. Um, I honestly, it comes down to it, Thursday or Friday for SmackDown, um, it, it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, Daniel Bryan's going to be wrestling on this show, they haven't said who his opponent's going to be, uh, they've said that on house shows he's going to be wrestling Kane, um, they said he's going to be wrestling Luke Harper on some, so maybe it's one of those two dudes. Honestly, he could be wrestling, you know, Curtis Axel, uh, for all I care, or, um, it could be... Uh, Triple H thing, he has to wrestle the entire roster. I got no clue, but I'm pumped. I'm fired up. Uh, I want to see Daniel Bryan win the Royal Rumble and go on in main event. Uh, WrestleMania 31 against Brock Lesnar. That is sort of my dream match that's going on right now. Uh, But we'll see what goes on down the road. Peace out, everybody. Have a good day.